Hey there, this is Kenneth Moore and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're going to look at how you can actually work with the fill and how you can even animate it alongside the stroke. So let's begin. So I'm going to go ahead and create an ellipse. So I'll press shift and create a perfect circle like this. And then I'll center my anchor point. And I'll make it a little bit bigger actually. Right about there. Good. Now in my shape group, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create another shape. So I will create now a poly star like this. And notice under the fill, I have a few options. Now notice with this fill rule here, I have non-zero winding selected. If I change it to even odd, notice that the star fill was removed. So you can play around with that. And if I bring this back to non-zero winding, the fill is back. And I also have the option to play with the reverse path here of my poly star. So when I have this selected, the fill is removed as well. And if you play with the reverse path of your actual ellipse here, the fill comes back. So that's just something that you can play around with, with things like the reverse path, or with the non-zero winding, or with the even odd in your fill rules. And now I want to look at how you can actually animate your fills and your stroke. So we have our fill open here. And if we go to the color, we can put a keyframe. So I'll put one right here. And then I'll jump 10 frames by pressing shift and page down. And I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. And then I'll set the color to blue like this. And then I'll press shift and page down again. And then I'll set the color to this yellow. Shift and page down one more time. And then I'll set the color to this purple here. Good. Now notice if we play it back, what happens? Our colors are now animated. And if you want to animate the stroke colors as well, you can do that. Set this to white. And I'll drag this up. Go here. Give it another color here. Here. So we'll play it back now. So now we have our stroke and our fill colors animated. Now what's really interesting is if you twirl down on your color here, you actually see the changes that are happening. And I'll twirl down on this one here as well. So we see here the changes from one keyframe to the next with the colors. And if you want to make these colors jump from one keyframe to the next, all you have to do is simply highlight your keyframes and then right click and select toggle hold keyframes. And now the colors will actually jump. So that's how you can play with your fill and your stroke and your shape groups. Now, if you like this video and you want to receive more content like this, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell so that you get notifications to all of our newest videos. And we will see you in the next one. Until next time.